Okay, hello everyone. Now I'm going to teach a class, uh, a complement, uh, complementary class to lesson two, plant blossom we learned uh, before. And uh, the new class has to do with uh, how to compose a picture with uh, um, plant branches. Uh, according to a theory, we call it uh, eight position branch out or eight position uh, to start off a branch. There are eight points mo uh, most uh, uh, appropriate for starting a painting or uh, introduce a branch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I call this a uh, lunchbox uh, theory. Look at lunchbox. Because uh, we, uh, we developed this uh, idea when we talked uh, in a... Okay, the lunchbox theory now. Uh, we learned this uh, with a friend in China when we had a working lunch in his uh, studio. Uh, he records this uh, uh, analogy of uh, uh, cooking with paint uh, with my teacher. He said uh, the teacher used to teach us that uh, uh, Master Zhang has taught us that uh, you can compose any picture, like a, a cook uh, to make a dish with the same material. The difference is how do you compose it, and uh, there are if you master this eight position to start off a branch, you can do any flowers easy. Uh, it's like a formula. Uh, so if you mm, remember that you know, there are eight, eight points on each side, just like a large box, right? there are eight holes. So um, we, we can start a branch from a number one position. Uh, and uh, you can develop, you know, when you have three branches, when you have two branches, one long and one short, so never make them the same, right? And then you also avoid to make uh, uh, all the branches and on the, at the same level, so vary the length and you also uh, vary the uh, angle. So the third one could make a cross. Uh, then you can introduce another branch from uh, a different starting point. Or you can add um, a bird or a, a piece of rock to complete the composition. So it's uh, endless uh, possibilities. You don't have to follow a a rule like uh, a siege or, or X or whatever, a letter. So it just starts the branch from one of these eight points. Uh, let's say you can also introduce the second line behind. But one it should be uh, dominant as a guest, the other is the Host. I mean the guest. When is the host? Right. When we do the branch of a plum, you, you can save some room for the flowers. Uh, let's do another one before we continue to finish the first one. So number two, you can start from this corner instead of uh, number one, we do number two. And you can go any direction. I, I noticed that uh, the ending part could also point to one of these eight spots instead of uh, uh, in the middle. So what's the, where we don't want to paint is the, the middle or the center. So you can, as long as you avoid that, you should make a good composition. So I point to one of these uh, eight spots always, right. and you can you can add uh, a piece of rock or anything to complement if it's not enough. 
Um, maybe we can have more paper. I would do our eight. And now we do number three uh, without thinking of a, a complete picture. I just start off like that and I vary the length of uh, the each section, right? And then I make a cross with two lines. You always vary the length. And if you have four, you make one group, like a three, and then this, the fourth one, different. So all, all different names, right? That's uh, number three, and let's do number four, four is here. can save some room for uh, flowers. And you can do another uh, upward. Should be number one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Four should be here. Uh, this should be number six. Number four should be, should be lower corner here. So sometimes it's very subtle <laughs> the difference. Uh, are, so this should be number four. Number four, number five, and number six. Number five should be here. I think it, yeah. You, you just re, uh, reverse the, the side. Uh, we, can, we can use multiple stroke if you want. Kind of, Thicker branch. Try to avoid perils. And uh, number six is here. I did uh, one earlier. Now number seven. We can do it from here. And uh, you can consider this like a mm. C or O, whatever. So always introduce the branch from outside the painting that suggests uh, so you know there there are flowers outside the frame. And uh, finally, number eight. So number eight would be tiny branch diagonal. But you can uh, you can make turns and curves along the way. Um, always have an end ending branch that, that uh, is complete. And you can you can introduce another one with a different place like that. Try to make it uh, complicated. And uh, we make 
crossing branches not to make a diamond shape. Uh, use uh, triang irregular triangles better. And vary the length of the branches. Okay, now uh, let's uh, review all the eight positions we have done one by one. So this is uh, number one uh, with a, a minor branch, maybe uh, from number three. One, two, three, four. And you can, uh, let me just add a few flowers to finish. You can add flowers like that. And you, can, you can use different ink for different uh, uh, parts like uh, stamens and the uh, calyx. Then you can have some flowers behind the branch. And this is the mustards, we call it, to adjust the uh, rhythm. And uh, so it's very easy. Number two, okay, here. And number two, uh, we can make this a little thicker, I think. Ideal complete with the absence of a stroke. <coughs> so just half circle sometimes. Uh, uh, that's, uh, but a side view, just suggestively. That's a uh, calyx and uh, uh, stamen. One calyx was uh, the stem that uh, nailed the, the flower onto the branch. So, must starts. Have some more branches. These two are too long, two the same, so you can extend that a little bit. One dot could be a but. Use the mustache to uh, create a rhythm. Oh, <laughs> it's a, too dark. Anyway, not. Uh, Try to depict too 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 much detail. This is a freestyle painting. Uh, number three. Number three. I I try to illustrate four uh, group of four uh, branches. So three of them. Just like a. One, you know, dance one sparse. It's a darker ink to do the. This could be. Front or back, you can define that uh, later. This is this.
is number four, right? Number four composition. Oh, number three. Number three. Number four. This is number four. Number four is uh, four, yeah. three branches. But um, actually, you can redefine this. Uh, you can make this uh, behind. You can use the flower to hide some. Uh, look like you don't have to follow exactly the original idea. You can change that along the way. Sometimes depend on. Uh, you can combine, you know, uh, different groups, different branches, or uh, redefine, re separate them. Uh, you can also make uh, some petals shared by different flowers. It's all possible. Like if you do a group, uh, this you don't have to. You can make everything too uh, solid. To paint the idea, not the uh, details. It's called an idea of writing. So there are more flowers behind or something. Paint the idea. Now, uh, number five. five. This is the number five. The plum is very uh, different than peach. They are the first bloom in the spring. Uh, so we try to indicate that kind of uh, cold feel. Uh, it's not uh, so dense like uh, cherries. So we do more uh, with the bud. The first signal of uh, spring. Usually, um, this branch could be just what we call it chi branch without flowers. of the branches. Now the, the six, six one is here. <clears throat> the sixth one uh, concentrated the flowers on this branch, the lower part. Kind of suggestively draw the petals. You can use different, uh, different brush. Uh, I just make it uh, easier because uh, I want to do it fast for illustration purpose only. So we use the same tools, we write, and we call this the process of, uh, instead of painting, uh, 
like we say, it's right, writing is to be more expressive, expressive than when you write, there's a, like, a, you already know how to write the characters, right? So the, like a three stroke or four stroke, uh, you always follow. So that it's not um, chaotic. And uh, last two, uh, number seven and eight. Number seven. And you can later we use color to, to dot this uh, flowers if it's red. And you can paint a groove with a uh, some in the front view, some side view, on top. When, when I try to depict, I got lost, <laughs> and I try to concentrate on the, uh, the whole, the, the, what do you call the gestalt, the wholeness. But then <clears throat> this is uh, the last Okay, now the last one, number eight. You don't have to do it five, sometimes three or four are fine. Also. Now let's uh, take an overall look uh, from uh, number 8 to number 1. So it's all started from uh, one of these uh, eight positions. And some of them, you know, uh, it looks uh, incomplete, right? You can have the room, you can, we can add little birds. Um, Eight positions of uh, branches. With the birds. Oh, I think. Did maybe they got left on the on the machine? Um, oh yeah, yeah we tried to copy. Yeah. Here we have uh, three samples with birds, and you can see uh, this is uh, number seven or uh, number five. Number seven, five, this composition without the birds is still a good picture. Uh, if you have a bird, the bird should come first. Uh, this one is a number eight. And uh, this one 
actually to be the same. Like uh, you, you can you can do the branches without the birds, and you can do it with with the birds. Uh, consider the same same um, principle, same precision. Okay. And uh, if you have the bird, it, it depends on the position. You can do the branch first if the bird is uh, behind. If the bird's in the farm, you should do the birds first. Let me just uh, make a quick, uh, quick one, quick copy of this one. Okay. So you do the branches first in this case, because the the branch is uh, in front of the bird. Okay? So you do branch. And notice starting and complete ending. Starting from outside the frame. Ending with complete completion. Don't go outside the frame. But you can point to one of the outlets. The same considered as the eight mm -hmm. outlets. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this could be uh, another secondary uh, branch that starts from number uh, six. Right? And uh, you, can, you can add some minor branches. So this is the where the bird stands. And uh, you can do the flowers or just do the birds. You know? uh, I'll use my finger to squeeze the Brush a little bit. Yeah. It's a paper towel to make it a little flat. Okay. Now you can you can use uh, the flattened brush to do this. The bird's body is like a a neck, so it pinch. Uh, you know. Uh, Within the that egg shape, but you can have some uh, voids. You don't have to fill in all the all the space. Okay. And now I use uh, uh, dark ink, a little dark ink to do the the head. One stroke for the head. Like that. leave some space in the front for the eye. You can, you can do a little circle. Sometimes you, you, you don't have to. And uh, the neck. Neck, okay. Now the shoulder. Shoulder. The shoulder and uh, or the back should be different tone with the body to make a distinction. The, the wings, the fly uh, feather, and the tail is the active part. We can do that later. This is a stable part. Now I do this the beak. You can make it thin by opening the. Yeah. And the uh, tail. Normally, don't follow exactly the direction of the wing, so you can make a little change, balance. It's the active part, like that. And draw some underneath uh, feather is uh, light or white. Okay. Now you uh, uh, let me see, I'll make up this uh, chest, uh, neck, with light. You can just draw some line. Three lines. That's all. Just keep it simple, um, and then just use a little dark to do this. Uh, feet. Just the front. Uh, of the grabbing the the, the uh, branch. Mm -hmm. Don't. I don't have to do the leg. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ideal complete with absence of stroke. So 
uh, that's the shape of the bird. And uh, use some water to dilute the ink. It uh, flowers. There are different tones to the dark and light. <coughs> And you can have some open uh, petals, like an incomplete circle, to uh, let the chi go through. So don't close all the circles. Use the uh, points of the brush, point the tip of the part brush, to draw these uh, details. Dot should have a rhythm. You don't have to match each uh, statement, you know, the point, uh, dots. Just with dot with a rhythm. Now I will help you to practice. You can copy one of these uh, handouts. Okay. okay.